Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is Mr. Sanders Cabernet Jr. Always starts with saying, uh, God bless us all. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, guys, today what I'm going to do is to start a series of tutorial wherein an engineering graduate or an engineer who wishes to join building management system or building automation system will be able to understand or will be able to do or to configure or to configure a BMS project offline, okay? Because there are two ways to configure or engineer a project, a BMS project. One is offline and one is online. When I say offline, you are not connected to the uh, DDC or the controllers, okay? Now you are going to do this offline in your laptop where you will configure your BMS project. Now, when I say online, now your system or your front end computer with BMS software is connected to the DDC panels or DDC controllers, okay? So we are going to do the offline configuration of a certain project. Okay, now guys, as you can see in my shared screen, I have here my project configuration server, okay? So from this software, you will try to recreate or try to create the configuration of a BMS project, okay? So to start with, I will show you one, uh, so, let me first uh, new share. Okay, then I will share this one. Share. Okay, guys, what I have here in my screen, this is one of the IFs drawing of a project. Okay, so let me just uh, try to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Now, IFC is an instruction for construction. Okay, uh, so from this, uh, from this IFC, an engineer or a BMS engineer will be able to have an idea, okay? He will have an idea how he's going to uh, configure the project. Okay, so let me show you this one. Okay, this project, uh, this is one of the projects that I handled, okay? Now this project, as you can see here, I have here my front-end computers. When I say front-end computers, this will be the com BMS computers, okay? So from this IFT, it's just like uh, it's asking from the solution provider three personal computers, okay? Now, actually, guys, uh, I have this in my uh, previous tutorials, okay? So you can just look, uh, you can just try to watch that uh, video, okay? Now, anyway, uh, because I'm going to start uh, project configuration, so I want to start with something, okay? So this is a project, okay? As you can see here, okay, uh, this is my front-end computers. Then I will be communicating to my DDC. As you can see, I have here some uh, numbers of DDC panels. So these are the DDC panels, okay? From this side, I have this DDC panels. And from the other side, I have this DDC panel, okay? So my front-end computers, my front end computers, this one will be communicating to my DDC through this network rack. Okay, so through this network rack, uh, of course, I will be using TCP IP. Okay, now going to the network rack, then I will be having an FOC single mode. So this is fiber optic single mode backbone. Okay, so from there, uh, there will be network switch, okay? So there will be network switch, then there could be a gateway unit so that I will be capable of communicating to this DDC panel, to this numerous DDC panel, okay? So gateway unit is the one that will convert from TCP IP to whatever communication protocol your DDC panel is using, let's say backnet over IP, okay? So uh, in this side, I think I have here around, uh, let me count how many DDC here, okay, how many DDC, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think from the other side, I, I have there nine. Now, in its DDC, as you can see here, in its DDC, let's say this DDC, okay, let's look for a DDC where we can see, okay, let's check this at the top, okay, because, okay, so this DDC, 
So this DDC, what are the points? When I say what are the points, what are the equipment that will be controlled and monitored, okay? Now here, as you can see here, I can see here battery extract, battery extract funds, okay? So battery extract funds. So as I can see here, I have here duty standby, duty standby. So most likely there will be two exhaust fund that is uh, servicing this uh, ano, battery charging room, okay? So what are the points? Now, as you can see, I have here several BMS points. Okay, so duty standby status. So when you say duty standby status, when the duty fan is running, it should, uh, BMS should get the real-time status if it is on or off. Then the standby also. Then I have here airflow proving. So meaning I need to install an airflow switch wherein if it is running, BMS will be able to display the real time status. Maybe it will show some animation that the fans are really rotating. Okay. Now the purpose of this because uh, even though the motor, because this one is maybe a belt driven fan, even the motor is running. If the belt is broken or loose, maybe the fan will not rotate. So that's the purpose of air probing here. Then we have the enable. Enable. This is the BMS uh, digital output command, or this is the BMS start stop command. Airflow probing, okay, for the duty and standby. Then I have spare spares. So, I have, uh, so obviously, the consultant who have prepared this uh, design, they are asking for some spare points in this DDC panel. Then there will be one point here, refrigeration plant fault. Okay, maybe you will ask why there is a refrigeration plant fault there. Okay, so meaning uh, the, the designer wants me to include one point from refrigeration plant. That is the refrigeration plant fault okay so uh, guys i'm giving you an idea this is the ifc okay now this is your project i mean this is your project so the design will give you a bird's eye view how are you going to do it okay so you know already my front end computers or my bms computers will be connected to the uh, network crack through this tcp ip or ethernet cable then there will be some backbone there fiber optic single mode, then it will be connected to one of the switch where my gateway, let's say backnet over IP, will be connected also to my DDC, okay? So that I can communicate from front-end computers, then I can communicate from this DDC, okay? Now, so this is the uh, basis of what we are going to do. I will not uh, spend so much time in this IFC drawing. I will go back to our, uh, I will go back, to my project configuration software. Okay, so now I, I'm here already, okay? So guys, uh, this is the software where you are going to configure the BMS project that I have shown you, okay? So based on that, uh, you will start your project, okay? Now here, uh, I already opened it. So the first thing that you need to do here is, Okay, the first thing that you need to do here is right click here, then new project. Okay, so because I'm going to create the project, okay, new project. Okay, then uh, create object project. Okay, now I have to rename the project. Okay, that one is uh, okay, where I will just because it is for warehouse, warehouse project okay where else project one right now description you can put description or you can leave it blank then i will create okay guys it will take some time to create this project okay so to wrap it up first as a bms engineer you have an ifc drawing first you need to look for the uh, bms architecture that is the BMS architecture that I shown you before, okay? So that is a BMS architecture. That file will give you uh, an idea what are the content or what are the scope of the project, of the BMS project, okay? So based on that, you will try to create your design. As a BMS engineer, based on that uh, IFC drawing, you need to create your own BMS architecture, okay? Because you don't need to follow everything what is on the IFC drawing. You need to present to the consultant your own design based on that IFC, okay? 
So make sure you try to cover what is being asked from that uh, IFC drawing. Okay, so you have to come up with your own design, submit it to be approved. Then I think you have to sit with the consultant. Okay, based on your IFC, this is my design. This is how I intend to accomplish what is being asked from this IFC drawing. Okay, so I'm just trying to explain it since the creation of the project uh, will took a little time. Okay. So I hope uh, you are given already an idea how are you going to do it. Now, guys, I'm doing this because I'm planning to, uh, in my YouTube channel, I'm planning to create the membership option there wherein my, my, the member that will join my, my, YT, uh, my YouTube channel, you will be able to uh, do this uh, hands-on. So uh, my plan is to uh, make one computer online connected to my controllers, to my demo board. Then you will connect with my system using TeamViewer. Okay. So now this is just an initial uh, plan. So to those who are interested, you can put a comment in this video then I will push through this membership. And to those engineers who don't want to be a member, I am planning also to put an online class with this building management system tutorial, okay? Now, what is the, what is the advantage? If you will be a member of my YTC channel, and if you, want, if you don't want to be a member, you can always message me also, because I can uh, schedule an online tutorial for this. When I say online tutorial, it will not be more on blah, 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 blah. You will be doing an actual configuration of a project. First, you will do this in this uh, offline. Then after that, you will do the online, okay? So offline, then online. So I will start with the offline. So if you are interested, you can always uh, put your comment, then message me directly so that we can communicate, okay? Now, uh, my project is already uh, created here. So this will be the initial uh, setup of the project. Okay, so warehouse project. So this is my project. Then by default, there will be some folders here. Okay, so at the time being, we will not, uh, I will not discuss this one. So as you see, uh, in that IFC drawing, I have my front end computers. Okay, then I will be. Uh, communicating to my DDC panels, okay? Now, uh, actually guys, uh, the, D, the DDC there is BACnet over IP, okay? Now, the first thing I need to do, because with this software, this is an Schneider software, I will be using here one automation server. Now, automation server is a very powerful server, okay? So it will try to communicate uh, at the top, and at the bottom. So it's like in the middle. So I have here my software, like, like say my workstation and my server. Then in between, I have my automation server. Then this automation server will be the one to communicate to all the DDC, okay? To all the DDC. And by the way, the automation server also, you can do some programming there, or it's like a DDC also. Okay, it's like a DDC also, wherein you can add IO modules. Okay, then later on, I will show you this one. So I'm just giving you a clear picture. DNS software, then automation server, then the DDC panel. So first thing I need to do is to create the automation server in this uh, software. So first I will, I mean, first I need to create the, before the automation server, I need to create the server, okay, the BM server, okay. So from here, I have here the server, then I will do the right click, the new server, okay. Now first, uh, let me refresh, uh, refresh it. I need to create first the BM server, okay. Now here, the BM server is the enterprise server, okay. So I will uh, keep the name enterprise server, okay. Then next, so from my computer, I'm creating now the server, okay. So just uh, leave all the default values as is, okay? Create, 
So I'm now, I have created now the enterprise server or the BMS server. So we can repair it up as the server, okay? Now the server, this one will be the one to collect all the information. What you are doing, it will be uh, saved in the server, okay? And also later on, some of your uh, work will be also saved in the automation server, okay? Now, so this is my uh, enterprise server or my BMS server, okay? Now, as you can see, I have here also server. Here, where you will create the automation server. As I said, the automation server will be the one responsible in communicating to all your DDC panel. But of course, uh, in your design, you have to know, okay, in this automation server, it will communicate in how many DDC panel, okay? Then in, from another automation server, it will communicate to other sets of DDC panel, okay? So here, I have created also the BMS server or the enterprise server. Then from this server, I will create now my automation server. Okay, server. Now you have to say automation server, okay? So automation server, now I can say automation server one. Because in the project, maybe you will have uh, two, three, or four, or more automation server, okay? It depends on the size of the project. But in this uh, IHC, in this project, I use three automation server. Okay, so based on this out three automation server, it will be the one to communicate to all the uh, DDC on the side. Okay, so now I will create it next. Okay, now when you are doing offline, uh, you can you can uh, use all the default setting here. Okay, so you don't need to uh, specify whatever uh, values that you need here, like the DNS or IP address. Since uh, you are not uh, actually, you are doing it offline, then you can leave the IP address blank. But if you already know uh, all the IP address that you need to use in your network, then you can put it here. Okay. So uh, at this time, we don't, we will not do any uh, configuration or uh, like the DN, DNS IP address, we will not put any values there, okay? So we will just accept whatever is the value being presented. Okay, so I will create it. Okay. So now, as you can see here, okay, now I have here now my automation server. So from my computer, this computer, I have my BMS server, then my BMS server will communicate to this automation server, okay? So this is a logical presentation of the project. But of course, in the real world, you will need to uh, connect. Let's say this is my server and my workstation. Then I need one automation server, physical automation server, an IP device. So from my computer, I need to connect it to uh, network plug or a switch. Then from the switch, there will be a cable or Ethernet cable going to my automation server. Then from my automation server, there will be cable if it is a backnet, there will be an RS485 cable that will be uh, connecting all the DDC panel through daisy chain, okay? So I already have here, now this is my automation server. As I said, the automation server is like a DDC, okay? So it is a very powerful DDC, okay? Now, because uh, this auto automation server, I can add IO modules, okay? So IO modules, when I say IO modules, these are the modules like digital input modules, digital output modules, analog output modules, analog input modules, and so on, okay? So later on, I will show you how to add, okay? So I think, guys, this will be the part one of my uh, series of tutorial. Again, guys, uh, I'm doing this because I'm planning to, again, I'm planning to create the membership in my YouTube channel, wherein the members will be given a chance to do this. Uh, I will, uh, you will be the one to do it. As I said, I will be putting one computer online. Then you will be having your own laptop. You will connect it through TeamViewer. Then from there, I will guide you how are you going to uh, configure offline your, the BMS project, okay? So each member or each one who, have a, who wishes to get an online tutorial, okay, you will have your own project, okay? 
So guys, uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can also click the notification bell and you can share it, uh, like, put your comments. And if you are happy in what I'm doing, please support the channel. Again, before I will end this tutorial, part one, uh, I will always end my tutorial by saying God bless us all. And bye for now.